Hi, this is Peter Punzi and I'm the horticulture guy. And I'm here at Edgewood Flower Farm on Meridian Avenue in Edgewood. And I'm going to talk to you today about soils. And the reason we're going to talk about soil is because the better you take care of your soil, the better your soil will take care of your plants. And in particular today, we're going to talk about soil structure. And I'm going to show you a way to find out what your soil structure is. You may be asking, what's soil structure? That's what your soil is composed of, uh, usually the mineral part, which is sands, silts, and clays. And you also have the organic part, which is humus, which is, comes from decomposed uh, animals or plants. And what you'll need to do this test is you'll need some garden soil, and you'll need a screen, which is a quarter inch screen, to sift the soil before you put it in the jar for this test. So you'll screen it first, and you have some soil. You need an empty jar, preferably one that the sides are not angled. You want them straight up and down, because it'll when you measure this. And what you'll do is you'll take half the soil, fill it halfway into the other jar, and then what you're going to do is go three quarters full with your water. You cover it, and you shake it up good. And then you just put it on the side and let it sit. And now, since I'm going to show you what you'll see on a big scale, and no, I haven't lost my marbles. This is, this is an example of how the soil will look on a big scale. And what I did is the larger marbles represent sand, so the marbles these marbles are the sand, from coarse sand to fine sand. And this is the silt, the smaller marbles. The clay particles are the poker chips. And this is the organic matter, this foam. So what will happen first, within the first minute, is the sand particles are going to settle on the bottom. And so you'll see first the coarse sand, then the medium sand. then the fine sand, then the very fine sand, and then that's after a minute, you'll take your ruler and you'll measure, write it down, then the silt layer will form after two hours. So in two hours then you'll come back and measure, write down the measurement for your silt. Then after 24 hours, the clay layer will form on the top. Again, take your measurement and write it down. You'll also find that the organic matter is floating on the top, and you're not going to measure that, but that'll give you an idea of what you'll see when you do the measurements. And what you'll do is you'll subtract out each layer, the measurement of each layer, and divide it into the total height of the soil that you found. And that'll give you a percentage of your sand, your, your silt, and your clay. And then what you'll do is you can go to my website, horticultureguy.com. I have a chart there. It's a triangular chart that will give you the three percentages and will tell you if you have a clay soil, a sandy soil, a loamy soil. And it'll also give you some information about what type of soil you have and how you can do best with your plants and how you can add fertilizers and how to water your soil. So again, my website is horticultureguy.com and I hope you'll visit that and find out more about your soil structure. Until next time, live long and garden.